and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Prom Second Term. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. And I am Atoli. Last time, Atoli, you picked the show Friends. I did. You know what? I'm going to update mine. You can't I'm update doing it. it. I'm doing it. No, you can. You picked Game of Thrones. I am picking How I Met Your Mother versus Friends. Okay, fine. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how plausible it would be that five years from now, a war between two neighboring countries started based on a disagreement over this TV show. I'm pretty I, sure wars have been fought over, over friends. friends. Game so, of Thrones, I would have won. Yeah, Game of Thrones, you absolutely would have won. You see, you should have stuck with your first. I should have. I should have. Because I've been dominating this, even though I am. I don't know how I'm actually doing. I'm, I have so spread out my love. Go, you go with everyone. I just, I, all everyone. right, all right. So what are we? What are we trying to do? You can't go to the auditorium, so creativity is out. Okay, that's that's fine. Unless you want to go to the store again, and I don't know. Um, you know what? I said I was gonna do it. Let's just up that charm. Okay, so that's the gym. Yep. Epic dodgeball occurs. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more, so you valiantly go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiating for a truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. My goodness. You gain plus ten righteousness. But this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. But also plus two charm for twenty charm. Twenty charm. Without warning, Vera pulls you aside and hisses in your ear. And then I giggle because... That would tickle my ear. Oh my god, the stalker's back. You follow her pointed finger and see a guy dressed in a white toga and winged sandals facing away from you. He looks like a creep. He's been following me everywhere. He thinks I don't notice him checking me out in the mirror shield. <laughs> the mirror shield he has, but I totally do. Oh, that took me longer to get than it should have. Uh, yes. Did you not realize? I, I was like, what? Why does why does he have why does he have his shoes? And because I had forgotten the legend of mm -hmm. yeah. Ugh, it's such a chore being this beautiful all the time. How am I ever gonna get rid of him? Could you threaten to feed a damsel to a sea monster and distract him? Or he looks Greek. Why not bribe Zeus, king of the gods? So that's money. I don't think that's correct. I don't have a lot of money. This is a bold choice, though. You, I think it's creative. You think that's creative? Or smart. I think it's... I'm going to go with the top one. All right. Hit me. I, I'm saying it's bold. It was smart. Yes! <laughs> ah, yes. Finally, a use for all those da these damsels my henchmen have been kidnapping. And also the sea monster I found on eBay. Vera mutters a few words into her collar, and minutes later, a high-pitched cry for help can be heard outside. Help! Help! Followed by the gnashing of the sea monster's teeth. Oh, God. And the screams of students. It sounds like Vera dropped the sea monster in the pool. Again. The creep in the toga immediately springs into action, shouting, I'll save you, milady! As he sprints outside. He won't, you know. I don't buy half-ass sea monsters. What a sleaze bag, though, honestly. You spend the rest of the period with Vera and pick up some good tips for buying the right sea monster. You gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. I can keep getting bold, but I can't get any fun. That's okay. I honestly, I think this is going to work out because I don't think Vera likes fun. You know, honestly, you're probably right. All right, so I can't do anything for creative right now. Uh-huh. I could go for smarts. You could, or you could go bold. I think I'm going to go bold. I think we're going to go, like, we're going to go for a 10-stat character on everything. All right. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Burn it down. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Seth Rollins totally did that. He did. You give zero shits and gain plus two boldness. Nice job. Everyone's favorite eldritch cutie, Patootie, runs up to you, tentacles twitching with excitement. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. 
Frankie, Frankie, did you hear? Did you hear? Netflix is rebooting the senior regular samurai frogs. I'm so excited. Like, oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably be in love with, with this creature. I'm sorry it was senor. In high school. Senor regular samurai far that, frogs. Is that senor? Sen yeah. Senor? That's senior. Senior? Yeah. Whatever. It's a word. <gasps> what is that? It's a kappa. It's a kappa. Oh my G is right. Oh miserable gods of TV. Why do you keep doing this to us? They're going to ruin SRSF for the next generation. I I love Oh my god, his face! Just like when the SJWs hijacked human hunters and they made that all female reboot, and now young monsters will grow up watching that and never know true happiness. He's like my my nerd neck beard valley girl. It's a weird voice that I it did is not a, it, realize existed. It is a weird voice. Netflix already ruined Skater Cats from Venus. Did Netflix do Biker Mice from Mars? And Ghetto I Dolphins? I don't know. Ne is Ghetto Dolphins Street Sharks really? Um, and now they're going to ruin the frogs too? I bet they're all going to, uh, they're all going to be POC and women anyway. So he's a troll. I mean, the Send Nudes shirt did kind of give that away. Yes. They probably won't even be frogs. Um, I don't, I don't know that they are making them gay and women, but even if they were, aren't there gay and or female frogs? Ugh, you would say that. But aren't there? I'm so confused all of the time, Leonard. Why are you like this? At that moment, a middle-aged man pops out from behind what you notice is a cardboard cutout of a bush clearly planted there for eavesdropping. Well, hello there, representatives of our sweet, sweet target demographics, he says. I couldn't help but overhear you succinctly encapsulating a generic argument about reboots. We've indeed feared just such backlash from you whippersnappers. Tell me, do any of you have ideas for how we can guarantee this reboot will be a success? I bet it would be absolutely, I bet it would absolutely impress any classmate you wish to romance. Impressing classmates you wish to romance? Holy shit, that's like your whole thing. Plus, you can't possibly let Leonard chime in, so... Well, people Wait, can you choose Leonard? I pray not. But I assume there's a secret way to date everyone. I bet there is, but that is a weird choice. Completionists. Look at look at my dating choices here right now. Just I'm stepping back from this for a moment. I mean, I will just say that I identify with Tentacle Girl Zoe much more. She asked, "Why are you like this?" <laughs> and well, I and I felt my my choices are. Well, people might criticize new graphic styles, new characters, new voice actors, new weight. What if you just air the same show from 30 years ago, but with a new name? Or add a hip new character to hook the target demo, like a surfer skater dog with a goatee and super cool summon glasses. Okay, that's a that's a Simpsons reference. Um. Well, neither of these sound particularly good for Zoe, so this must just straight up be skill I, test. No, I, I think, yeah, I think it is skills, but I do think the top one is more her. Is it? I thought I it was feel more like him. Because she's a... F no, because he wants... He, he just wants the old shit. Oh, I, okay, I see what you're saying. But this one doesn't seem good for either of them. This one, I'm, I'm just going for the top one because it's funnier. Okay. Smart. Wow, that's such a brilliant idea. It's foolproof. People can't criticize all the new things if there are no new things. And it's not like people are paying money for all the brilliant new insight and nuance they're adding. They're just shelling out money to relive their childhoods. Let's give them it that exactly. He eagerly bounds away to put your genius plan into action. See, there was the other one, like, was going for, like, some character that I still don't think would have appealed to either demographic. No, especially not these two. Yeah, because, like, to, you know, the, the, the troll Reddit 4chan crowd. Right. And the, the 
Tumblr direction cr crowds. Like, yeah. I'm just pissing everyone off in this episode, I have a feeling. That's okay. Um, it's all right. That's what we're here to do. Yeah, pretty much. Make you mad. Mm hmm and entertain you while doing well, it, hopefully. Well, I guess it's better than letting them make the senior regular samurai frogs into ethnically diverse feminazis. Sure. Leonard aside, it's pretty cool that you are now an influencer of a major animated series, Frankie. It's like the ultimate achievement of a fanfic writing. Ha! It was for her! Although, in this case, I guess the fanfiction was just the, the fiction. That already existed. Oh, look! Netflix just dropped a trailer for Frogs Reloaded. <laughs> that seems to just be the trailer from 30 years ago. The comment section is crazy. Looks like they're really added nuance and insight into the Frogs' dynamics with each other. Even better than their original. Looks phenomenal! People really are gullible, aren't they? They sure are, Zoe. They sure are. You got money! I did. Doesn't stop you from getting plus two creativity and plus one money for your work on the series. Man, look at those stats. Look at those throbbing stats. They are quite throbbing. All right, everyone chooses a place. Okay, hold Taj on. Taj Mahal. I, I just thought of like four very inappropriate things. I have to get past those. The Istvan drop site. Okay. <laughs> War Jesus Christ. Deep dig. Deep dig into Warhammer. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how likely you would make your children change schools if, after their current school is made inaccessible due to renovations, you were told they would need to be holding class in this place for the next three months. <laughs> what was your pick? Taj Mahal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just won. You did. <laughs> Only because yours is a fictional, like... It's a place. It is. I think Istvan's actually a star system in real life. That's fair. All right. For those of you who don't know, that's where the horse heresy began. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tolly's mad that I beat her with the horse heresy. I am. Oh, oh the hunter is here. <gasps> Oh, you have, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, you have choices today, don't you? Well, it's you? you first, so. Oh, I could shut you out from some, I could shut you out from Vera and Damien. I'm not even at Damien, like, at this point. I know. Um, you know what, because I think we're here to experience the new narrative. Can you go over? I've tried. Uh, damn it, I want to see, like, I've heard that you can go over somewhere in, like, one of these doors. And you can, like, find the coach or somebody over there. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to go here. Okay. This, this seems like a safe table to eat at. Because this one, there's going to be fire and money. Uh-huh. And this one, there's going to be, like, cannibalism and more cannibalism. Mm -hmm. This one, I actually really want to go to, but I shouldn't. So, we're going here. I mean, I think you have a pretty good plot going with Kazoe. I'm actually thinking you should continue. I it. really should. I just, I always want to figure out how to get the, the demon hunter. I know. You sit down with Scott and Zoe just as Zoe cracks open the Tupperware she brought for lunch. You're not sure what's inside, but it sounds like it's screaming. Whoa! Zoe! I, man, I can never get- I can never get Scott's voice down. Yo, man. No, it's- it's- he's a happy- he's a happy golden retriever. Whoa, Zoe! What are you eating? Is it pizza? I love pizza! He got into the crack cocaine again. Uh, yes, he, he's he's a he's a I dog on cocaine. I just don't always like treating him as a dog as, on cocaine. Sometimes he's dumb. Okay, fair enough. You can do dumb too. Your turn. Oh, haha! <laughs> no, Scott, it's not pizza. I'm on a special diet where I'm only eating sanity. Oh, sanity! I bet that's chock full of protein. I need more protein to get swole. Yeah. <laughs> not really. It's mostly chock full of horror. It's better fresh than. But that's a lot messier. So when I come to school, I pack leftovers in this Tupperware instead. So smart! What does sandy taste like, anyway? Well... You know when you're sucking the marrow out of the ethereal bone fragments harvested from the carcass of a rival deity, you slain? I don't think I've ever eaten a rival deity. Do I have a rival deity? Is it fireworks? I hate fireworks! No, no, no. Let's see. Have you ever drunk a child's tears filtered through its mother's severed scalp while in an orchestra plays a tuneless melody of instruments of flesh? I've had a pizza. Is that close? Not really. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry. Hold on. You okay? Yeah. It's more like cashews. Cashews and shrimp. Wait, cashews or I, what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, cool. I knew it was high in protein. Can I try some? Can I? Can I? Can I try some? Can I try some? Hmm? 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 Well, it's not really for mortals. But Scott looks so excited. You've got to figure out a way to resolve this situation. I could say, Scott, Sandy is extremely high in cholesterol. Why don't you just eat some cashews and shrimp smothered in this malignant insanity hot sauce I brought? Or I could say, but what if Scott uses this crazy straw? I'm not gonna lie how much I want to pick the crazy straw. I think that's fun. Is that- Is it? Is, is, is this one straight up stats? I don't- I think it's stats. See, this one's also trying to, like, to let Scott, like, drink it. I, I see that. I see that. And this one's stopping that. And Okay, that's fair. So okay. I think for the sake of going for Zoe, okay. I must continue. Yep, see? Okay. Zoe love. Oh, no, cholesterol. The original C word. Also, eating sanity would cause your brain to invert... Mutiligate? Mutilating. Mut mutilating it like a... Thumbless chimpanzee angry, pe angrily peeling an orange. That sounds sort of bad too. What I'm really worried about are my arteries. Cashew me, bro. You happily oblige. One cashew, shrimp, and weaponized hot sauce cocktail coming right up. Oh wow. This food looks like a tiny crime scene. Down the hatch. That's a lot of hot sauce, Scott. Are you sure your mortal mouth can... My mouth exploded. <laughs> it caught on fire. And exploded. <laughs> no more mouth for Scott. My mouth exploded! It caught on fire and exploded! No more mouth for Scott! <laughs> no, Scott. I can still see your mouth. Your... I can't see my mouth! And whose mouth is it supposed to be? Mine! Oh, so if I can't see it, it's not real! Uh, uh, okay, dude. Sorry, can't talk. My mouth explodes, so I don't really have a mouth anymore. Scott sits quietly for the rest of the lunch period, growing progressively redder and sweatier, while you enjoy a nice time with Zoe. Nice. Do you think he just stopped breathing or something? Yes. Or was well, it no, he went of the insane. It's oh. insanity hot sauce. He oh. went insane. Oh. Because <laughs> it was oh. really hot, and he was insane. All right, charmer. I'm really tempted, actually, with such a high charm stat yeah. to go to the hunter. I I don't know if that matters. I though. don't either, but like maybe it does. It's up to you. It's up to you. <sighs> I've already skipped one lunch though. You have. Does this one become about exploration or Yeah, love? I think this I think it does. Let's go to the hunter. Alright, way we go. You find the slayer sitting alone at a table. Is she even a student or what? Wait. You're choosing to sit? With me. For some reason, no one ever intentionally sits next to me. I usually have to ambush them and threaten to kill them. I wonder why. It's a mystery. Anyway, I'm really happy you, I mean, I'm flattered, I mean, I actually, um... Wouldn't you give a shit about... I wouldn't give a shit about you under normal circumstances, but today I'm on a quest. Yeah, that, that's it. That's right. I'm not emotionally vulnerable. I'm just on a quest to slay the werewolf of Wall Street. And I need a monster sidekick. You're going to help me, obviously. Obviously! I just need to know your class. Are you a fighter? A mage? A cleric? Out with it. Oh, you're something much better. You're a... Not a party smith. No. Gun haver? Sounds like smarts. Okay. Guns are smart. Gun haver. Is that even a class? Practically everyone has guns. You reveal just how many guns you actually have. Holy shit. How can you even carry that many guns? And why are you allowed to have them at school? You have your rad biceps to thank for the former, and Monstropolis's strong Second Amendment protections for the latter. 
Okay, well. Do you have silver bullets? Werewolves are only vul vulnerable to silver bullets. Man, there isn't a color of bullets that you don't have. It's true. I have all of, the, all of them. Well, um, all right. Um, hmm. Let's go on an adventure then. Sweet. You travel together to Wall Street, where you shoot the wolf of Wall Street with your guns. All right then. Um, thank you. And now I'm going to go ahead and run screaming away from you, if that's all right. It totally is. God bless Monsteropolis. You gained plus four boldness. Holy shit. All right, so you've pulled that stat out of the mire. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the first week, at least, of Monster Prom second term. We will be back to finish this next week. Don't worry, Total War is still coming out next week as well. We'll just have a little bit of overlap. Until next time, I am going to say Shaquille O'Neal for my celebrity. What do you pick? I am going to pick... Yes. I don't remember his name. Shit. All right, I'm going to change mine. Okay. <laughs> to famous dick wrestler Joey Ryan. Okay. What is the guy that is the, like, main host for that dumb Japanese, uh, like, game show game? With, like, it's the one guy and then it's his, like... Takashi? Yeah. Takashi's... Castle. Castle. Yeah. yeah. That actor? What is it? Yeah. What is, what is his... I don't like, remember his What is his name. character's name? Is it Mr. Takashi? Is it Takashi-san? I, I think they just or literally... Sama? That, that's his actor's name and they call him by his real name. Okay. Takashi-sama. Sama. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We are probably butchering that. Write your letters to Atoli, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.